Peter, are you still with me here? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Look, if we're gonna make any progress, our sessions can't be like they used to be before you stopped coming. So, new ground rules, Peter. This has got to be a two-way conversation. I got you. Oh. Why did you feel the need to try and take your own life? After my, um... After my uh, mom was killed in that car accident. I somehow managed to lose the legal rights to this video game I created about three years ago. It was worth a lot of money. Supposedly millions. I don't know, maybe even more. Is it safe to say that's where your problems began? Almost. My problems began the day I died. How do you know if it truly was death? After two bottles of random prescription pills and no hospital visit? All right, let, let's just call it a rebirth. All I know is that's the day that everything changed. Peanut! Open the door. Ah. I ain't got. <laughs> I ain't got no money, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yo, cut that out, man. Open the damn door. What do you mean you don't have any money? Yo. What were you up in here doing? Nothing, I, I, I fell asleep. With all this shit in your system? Doesn't seem like you were planning on waking up. <sighs> Damn, bro. Seriously, I know it's rough right now, but I never took you for taking the bitch way out. Man, I, I need you to get back out, bro. I don't, can't seem to get my head together straight. And I, don't, I don't even know who you are right now, man. Just get out, just get out, get out. <laughs> just get, get out! Get out! Yo, yo, yo. Peanut. Hey, hey, hey. It's me. Frankie. We've been together since day one. Two peas in a pod. Birds of a feather. Two halves of the same hole. Granted, I've always been the better half. But we damn near almost share the same brain. Take your phone out of your pocket and look at the last picture in your camera roll. Come on. 
convinced? Now, can we go down memory lane some other time? We need to get out of here before. Hey, Peter! Is that you hiding in there? Drive. What happened, Peter? I thought you wanted to play! Who's, who's that? Drive. Who is that? Let's play, Peter! You want to explain why somebody's trying to kill you? Why somebody's trying to kill us? Look, man, I don't know what pills you took, but I'm gonna need you to snap out of it, okay? You mean us? I spend most of my day behind a computer writing code, not dodging gangland shootouts in my pits. Max, slow down. Slow We're down. High speed chase. Okay, slow down. Yeah, slow down. That's a good idea. I'm slow down and drop you off right over here on the corner. You can walk on. That's cool. That's right, yeah, right? I'm gonna need to stay at your place a little longer, all right? At least until the heat dies down. So. What are we, what are we, roommates or something? No. But you said I could stay any time. I've been there since last week. And all my stuff's there. Look, man. Are you okay? Should I be worried? Ah. None of, none of this is familiar. I mean, you're not familiar. Oh, this just gets better and better. Ready to pull away when I'm prison. Say. Prison? Man, let me out of this. Good afternoon. Can I see your driver's license and registration, please? No problem, officer. Why? Shut up, man. I said, let me out of this. Excuse me? Apologies, officer. I'm reaching for the glove compartment. Mm -hmm. my registration. Peter Hargrove. Mr. Peter Hargrove. Now, where have I heard that name before? I have a pretty big social media following. I created this popular mobile app game. Thief Killer. <laughs> yeah. The name of the game is called Thief Killer. And the main character's name as well is, shit, damn, it's Peter Hargrove. You know what, my teenage kids love that game, man. Why don't you just tell us why you pulled us over and get the hell on? I said shut up, man. Is there a reason why you keep on telling me to shut up, son? I'm sorry if it sounds that way, officer. It doesn't sound I... that way. It is that way. <laughs> my apologies, officer. I was talking to my friend. That's... Your friend? Yes, yeah. yes, sir. What? Your friend doesn't like cops or something? My cops is fine. Just hate pigs, is all. Are you trying to get us killed, man? Stop! All right, stop. That's it. Step out of the vehicle. I didn't, officer, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Step out of the fucking vehicle. Step out of the fucking vehicle. Step out of the fucking vehicle. This is my last time telling you this shit. against the car, man. Let me tell you something, man. The dispatch came through that this car was seen speeding out of an alley after several shots were fired. A straight bullet hit a lady who was walking her dog across the street. Now, what can you tell me about that, Peter? I said nothing. I was, I fell asleep in my car, and then I heard somebody start shooting, so I got out of there. I, I think you're full of shit, and you, I need you to tell me something. Go ahead. All right, copy that. I'm in route. It's your lucky day, Peter Hargrove. It's your lucky fucking day. I'm going to be on your ass like racism on black people. You understand me? 
Talk to you later, man. You stay the fuck off my streets. Fuck out of here. stuff you leave over here? I don't know. It's uh, one of the rooms back there. Hey, I don't see your stuff, man. It must be gone. I looked everywhere, man. There is no stuff, Peanut. You know, you must be the most gullible motherfucker in all of Atlanta, bro. What are you, what are you doing, man? Earlier today, you tried to kill yourself. Want me to do your favor and finish hey, the on, job? Wait, hold on, wait, wait. Because I can make it quick. Dump the body somewhere, live here, rent free as long as possible. Easy. Done. Just say the word. Get on your knees, Peanut. Oh, come on, bro. On your knees, coward. Now choose life or death. been dead your whole life. You just never realized it. <laughs> you must have really fried your brain. This is your gun. It's fake. You told me to take it. Scare that nerd who was making all those fake ass memes of you online. Just scare him a little bit. Your words. But then he pulls out a real gun and runs me off the block. That's who was shooting at us. Oh yeah, damn. Damn, I do remember the meme stalker. Meme stalker? Yeah, that's what you named him. I risked my life trying to stick up for you, only to find you trying to kill yourself like a coward. You know how fucked up that feels? Where are, you, where are you going? To, to hell if I don't pray. But since you're in such a rush to get there, you go first. This is where we part. For good though, bro. For Frankie, wait. I'm sorry, man. I need help. I need help. Will you help me? I'll do more than help you, Peanut. I'll show you how to grab life by the balls and squeeze. There's nothing more dangerous than a man who's not afraid to die. He's got nothing left to lose. Right now, you're a coward. gotta be reborn to a man who creates his own destiny. Take back control of your life. I'll ask you again. Do you want to live? Or do you want to die? I want to live. Let me start now. No turning back. Come on.
How did that situation make you feel? I mean, I always expect the worst out of the police, but Frankie, <laughs> yeah, nah. Frank, Frank, he's a loose cannon. Things could have got real bad for no reason. I was talking about how he made you get down on your knees, choose life or death. He called you a coward. That part. Helpless. Desperate. Lost. Weak. Unsure of myself. All the traits that I feel like I've managed to master my entire life, and I was just tired of feeling that way. And you thought Frankie could help change that for you? Oh, he did. He did. He told me to teach me how to be an alpha male, and I think it worked. I'll give him that much. How so? The first thing he taught me was how to overcome fear. By doing what? This guy I grew up with, Zeke. He's a varsity football, basketball jock. He used to bench press a house before breakfast every morning. He whooped my ass every chance he could get in high school. We started with him. Are you sure this is the place? It's around the corner. Back in high school, he broke his nose, jaw, and fractured his skull with one punch. I don't know, man. I'm still got a chance to leave without anybody seeing this. We just leave him. We all gotta die at some point, Peanut. Yeah, but I necessarily buy a steroid junkie weightlifting grizzly bear. Have you ever seen a hunter fight a grizzly bear, lion? Elephant, rhino, straight up, one on one. Not, not really. What? Exactly, because they know they'd be killed in an instant. Rule number one, Pina. Always have the advantage. Come on. What are we doing? Come on. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see. Yeah, you know how I do. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> okay, ladies, turn around and do those stretches I taught you this morning. I'm feeling kind of tight from yesterday's session. Yeah, let's, let's get a little. <sighs> like this? A little low. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Zeke. Calling the police. Shut up! Drop both your phones on the floor. Or this goes up both of your asses next. Now stand there and watch. Rule number two never let him see you coming. Now, I want you to hit him in the face for every time that he beats you in school. What? Shut up! I'm not talking to you. Do that shit now, or I'm gonna leave you how I found you. A weak, pathetic, Coward who can't even get his own suicide right. He's getting up. Hit him again. No turning back, Peanut. Again. Again. Again! Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop! All right. Now get the fuck out of here. I'm calling the police. 
Lesson one complete. What happened to Zeke? She left him there. At this point, why don't you just separate yourself from Frankie? Because I liked it. it. Made me feel alive. Like an like an emptiness inside of me just started to fill up, you know. And you do realize you could have been arrested, or even worse, killed, right? We all gotta die at some point. Was that the goal? To die? The goal was to become an alpha male. Someone that can maximize his full potential. I couldn't do that as long as I was afraid of my own shadow. So, he taught you how to sucker punch a man. Beat him within an inch of his life. What came next? To training. Relationships and social skills. I've never had a girlfriend. Don't really have any friends other than Frankie and I haven't been laid in six years, I think. Now that turned yeah, out for you. Well, I had a hard time getting my pants off at first and I, mean, I finally got them off and I got the condom out, condom got all tangled up. The girl started without me. I was like, oh, how you gonna start Peter, without me? Peter, I'm consent? asking you about how your training with Frankie turned out. Oh, no, I mean, the training with Frank, it would have been helpful if you would have been that specific the first time. But the next training with Frankie, um, it felt like I was holding a double barrel shotgun with one barrel bent backwards, pointed directly at my face. All right. So here's the deal. I want you to pick someone hot, introduce yourself, then bring her back to your place, and screw her brains out. From a bookstore? It's impossible. Just yesterday you thought beating up your high school nemesis was impossible. Now look at you. Yeah, but girl. No butts, Peanut. The only butts I want to see are the ones you bring back to the apartment to have hot butt naked sex with. Now trust the process. Grow some balls and make your move. Start with the girl in the next aisle. What you reading? A book. That's cool. I know they say you should never judge a book by its cover, but I don't even know you when I'm checking you out. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, because like you're gonna leave with here. I'm just trying to break the ice. It's obvious what you're trying to do, but I'm married. I don't. I don't see a ring. Are you? It's invisible. What's one of those rings? Heard about those. Listen, I, I'm, I know you probably get hit on by guys all the time, right? But just out of curiosity, what would it take to get anywhere with a girl like you? I'll leave after this, I promise. Just, just humor me. First of all, he's gotta be tall. At least six foot three or four. And he's gotta be attractive, like Cristiano Ronaldo and have a chest like Michael B. Jordan in that boxing movie he started. Also, have a square jaw, like Henry Cavill. And he needs to enlighten me the way Elon Musk does in a TED Talk. My parents have to like him, so he's gotta be a gentleman as well, like David Beckham. Anything else? Of course, he'll also have to be financially stable, able to provide for a family. 
because I want a few kids someday, and private school is not cheap. At least a $300,000 salary. No, actually, maybe a few million annually, I would think, since inflation is so high these days. But he can't be too busy all the time either. He needs to be able to handle himself, but he can't be like a thug. Thugs need to be intimidated by him, if anything else. And he needs a big house or a mansion secluded somewhere and a staff to do all the stuff that comes with maintaining it. I do not cook or clean. So basically you want a Portuguese version of Bruce Wayne. Got it. Um, and what is this uh, perfect superhero gift for all of his accomplishments and sacrifices? A date with me. Is that a normal thing for you to be rejected by women? It's hard to be rejected when you never even try. You know what? That was a perfect example of why I never wasted my time chasing girls. Right? Their expectations are just completely unrealistic. I'm tired of it, man. <sighs> women are not a monolith, Peter. Yeah, I right. It's not been my experience. Hey. Hey, hi. <clears throat> Listen, I know you probably get hit on by guys all the time, right? But just out of curiosity, what would it take to get anywhere with a girl like you? First off, he can't be short. Like you. No offense. Um, but he has to be tall. That's a hard requirement. Like six foot five, six foot six. Um, he needs to look like O.J. Selva, have money like Jay-Z, be able to handle himself kind of like Floyd Mayweather, be a handyman like my dad was, and, um, oh, and he needs big hands. Oh, okay, so, like, Shaq or someone, right? Right. But even though he's rich, he can't be too busy for me. He needs our time to do our vacations, go shopping in Paris and stuff. Oh, he can't be looking at other women when he's out. He needs to love me unconditionally. And there can't be any times where he chooses his friends over me, ever. Oh, is that all? Anything else? Yeah. Well, he can't be jealous of any of my guy friends because they're like my brothers. <clears throat> what, what does this guy get from all of this? Me? that you probably got guys trying to hit on you all the time, right? But just out of curiosity, what would it take to get anywhere with a girl like you? Well, um, first off, he needs to understand that I am his equal. He needs to be tall, like six foot seven or eight, and he needs to be for the culture, 100%. If he can't tell me when the National Black Women's Justice Institute was founded, then we just won't have anything else to talk about. He also needs to have leadership qualities like Fred Hampton did with the Black Panther Party. And what about money? I don't care about his money, but he needs to be able to support me and a family because I plan to have at least six or seven kids and I'll be homeschooling them so they're not poisoned by the ignorant, misguided propaganda taught in American public schools these days. So he basically needs to be a millionaire, sounds like. If he's a strong black man who can lead and meets the level of intellect it takes to handle a strong black queen, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay, so basically Malcolm X mixed with a little Bill Gates. No, mix with any colonizers. That's a hard requirement. I want a foundational black American whose roots trace back to the motherland. Okay, so Malcolm X mixed with a little Bob Johnson after he's old BZ. I Yes, maybe. As long as he can physically protect his woman and family, sure. So like Floyd Mayweather? More like Jim Kelly. 
okay, that's not too much to ask for. So basically you were looking for T'Challa from Black Panther, right? If that's how you want to look at it. And what does this guy get in exchange for all this? A strong black queen, me. You, of course. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Three women with unrealistic expectations of an ideal partner still doesn't mean that all women are like that, Peter. Okay, so just all women I talk to. Gotcha. Okay, so that does that end your lessons with Frankie? Oh, no, nah, not even close. What happened next was... Nothing short of a miracle and a nightmare. See, I told you, man. <laughs> Most guys wouldn't even have the balls to approach her. I figured if I could beat a six foot Neanderthal to a pot, then it's gonna be what's so scary. <laughs> what you need to learn is technique, charisma, status, and confidence. I know that matters with modern women today, man. <laughs> Watch and learn. Have you read this book before? Mm, three little pieces. I was thinking that that might be what you were talking about. Yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah. it was. <laughs> I completely forgot. Have you been here this whole time? Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. Yeah? Do you come here often? Oh, now you're flipping the script on me. I, I like that. <laughs> That's really interesting. It's about some guy with a fucked up life and... Guy with a fucked up life. Yeah. I, I wouldn't know what that's about. But uh, just, yeah, just read me another little wing. Like, okay. blow, blowing kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I think we'd start a little book club and uh, get out of here and go read that. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. What's your name again? Uh, Frankie, call me Frankie. Frankie, okay. That was my pet turtle thing. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> 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 Go finish her off. What? I don't. You going somewhere? Yeah. No. Then finish me off. Take your clothes back off. Chop, chop, I don't have all day. I thought I wasn't your type. Do you really want to talk about that now? How'd you get here? You're asking all the wrong questions at the wrong time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you blew my mind. You definitely enlightened me in a way that only a black king could. Oh, mm. I, I didn't do anything. You did everything. Now, don't leave me hanging. Where are you going? We already did it over there. I'm confused. Confused about what? <laughs> Every, everything. Well, you weren't too confused 15 minutes ago when you tamed me. I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? Why do you keep looking at the bed? I want to do it right here. So are you finished with me or something? 
finish what you started, black man. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Finish me off. So you completed two of Frankie's lessons. One nearly killed a man. The other left you even more confused than when you started out. His methods are a little unorthodox, yeah, but I mean, he kept his word on how he said he'd help me. That's a medical term for the help he's been giving you. It's called delusional disorder. Delusional what? He told you you two were childhood friends, right? But do you have any memory growing up that include him? I told you my memory's been off ever since I took those pills. Right. Well, be that as it may. Have you ever seen him conversing with anyone besides you? The cop, I told you, he almost got us arrested, the police. Yeah. But did the policeman actually acknowledge Frankie? Or did it just seem that way? Mr. Peter Hargrove. <laughs> now, where have I heard that name before? I have a pretty big social media following. I created this popular mobile app game. A beef killer. Right, yeah. The main character's name as well, Peter Hargrove. Hot damn, you know what? My teenage kids love that game, man. <laughs> Shut up, man. Stop. Is there a reason you keep on telling me to shut up, son? I'm sorry if it sounds that way, officer. It doesn't sound that way. It is that way. <laughs> my apology, I was just talking to my friend. Your friend? Yes, sir. <laughs> is your friend not like cops, son? Are you trying to get us killed, man? Stop! All right, that's Stop, it. Stop, Come on, come on. That's oh, it. I don't understand what I'm... Step the fuck out of this vehicle. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why am I Step getting out? out of the I didn't vehicle. do anything. This is the last... Step out of the vehicle. Oh, sir, I didn't... Step out of the vehicle. This is your last warning. Step out of the vehicle, son. Peter, you've been through a very traumatic situation. Losing your mother, having your video game company stolen from you, leaving you penniless. This is a lot. This is a lot for anybody to handle. No. No, no, no. Somewhere along the way, you snapped. And a man was almost killed because of it. I, I didn't. I, I, Frankie. Frankie did those things to see. I, I didn't. I, I just. No, I, I just. You just what, Peter? A little lower. <laughs> Yo, Zeke. Shut up! And put your phones on the ground. Well, this is going up both your asses next. And stand there and watch. Rule number two, never let him see you coming. Now I want you to punch him in the face for every time he beat you up in high school. Every time. What? I am not talking to you! Peter, calm down. Breathe, breathe, calm down. You beat that man to a pulp because you couldn't take life kicking you around anymore. It happens. It didn't happen that way. The subconscious mind is very powerful, Peter. It's a part of your mind that holds on to all of the resources of your past like a giant memory bank. Everything you've ever experienced gets stored there. Like all of the memories, emotions, traumas, beliefs about everything you've ever experienced gets stored in the subconscious. Kind of like programs on a computer. So imagine if that computer got a virus. Imagine the impact it would have on your actions. Well, we damn near almost share the same brain. Convinced? Listen, I, I hear you and everything, Dr. Kaplan, but you're wrong. You're wrong. I even have a picture of me and Frankie together. Oh, really? Show it to me. Hmm. 
Tout ce qu'on n'a pas. The girls. The girls. I... What about her? I could never have convinced them to have sex with me. Are you sure about that? Peter, your mind is your strongest muscle and your worst enemy. Be honest, what really happened? Are you ready to accept your truth, Peter? Yes. Then for the first time, look me in my eyes and tell me. I'm ready to accept my truth. You didn't have to acknowledge shit, you know. We were doing just fine. I told you to trust the process and I'd help you take back what is yours. Am I... Am I, am I dead? The real question is, were you ever truly alive? Think of this as your rebirth. Do you remember the first time we met? Not, not, not really. How about how long you've been coming for these therapy sessions? <laughs> no, no. No, I don't. Why do you think that is, Peter? Because he's not real either, Peter. Surprise! Shut up, Frankie. You can see him. This is your truth. Oh, that is weird. You're not, you're not real either. Think of this as your rebirth. Both of us are a part of you, yes. But one of us is here to help. The other is here to destroy you from within. Don't be so quick to judge, Peanut. You've still got a lot to learn. Even the devil was an angel once. to keep you waiting. My last session went over the scheduled time in the next room. You know, I'm just not quite used to this whole work from home thing and not having my normal office. It's just this whole COVID madness. Anyway, let's start over. I'm Dr. Kaplan. Thank you so much for coming in today. Now, are you ready to get started with your therapy session? You're Dr. Kaplan? Yes, yes I am. 
Oh, oh no. No, no, no. No therapy sessions today. Mr. Hargrove. 